It's early on race day and we have snuck in the pits to check out Laurie Greenland's Mondraker Summon. So this downhill bike is based on the 27 frame, but however, it is a mullet bike. So it's got the 29 inch wheel in the front and the 27 out the back derived from what is an incredibly sleek looking carbon frame. Just the linkage plates that are alloy, everything else is carbon to give an incredibly clean and clear aesthetic. I especially love little power triangles. I don't know, they just look so smooth and so sleek. The reach on this is 442. However, he has got an angle set in there. This bike is pretty cool. It's got two degrees of adjustability either way in terms of the head angle, taking it from a 61 all the way through to a 65 to fine tune it to your preferences. Obviously, this does affect the reach a little bit, so I can't be exact on that number. Mondrake have long been known for their super progressive geometry, and it's no surprise to see an adjustable chainstay there. So you can basically fine tune it to the length that you want, depending on the course and your riding style. Interestingly enough, this bike hasn't really got much in the way of downshoot protection. It does, however, have lots of silencing. All this kind of the soft side of Velcro, which uh, is a really, really good material to dampen any noise. Also a really neat touch is on the brake hose, some little ringlets of it, just to stop it vibrating on the number board there when you're going warp speed or in high wind. So Laurie is a Mavic rider and sticking with the French theme, he's also a Michelin rider. So DH22 takes care of the grip duties while there are some Mavic D-Max, so Mavic's go-to downhill rim, front and back, obviously in the different wheel sizes. Mavic did recently bring out a new downhill wheel set. I can only imagine they didn't want to change mid-season or experiment with a course as rough as that. This bike came straight from the last World Cup in the US of A. So I imagine they've had a long time on the road and will probably be doing some testing during the off season. A Fox 40 is bolted onto the front of the bike with the Grip 2 damper. Seems to be a really, really popular choice with racers here this weekend. He's got a really, really nice custom stickered marsh guard, which looks pride and place to go along with all the other custom stuff on the frame. There is a Fox DHX2 coil on the back with, interestingly enough, a black spring. But upon close inspection, I think it might have been sprayed for aesthetic reasons. When springs are used, they do twist and distort slightly, and that can sometimes flake or break the paint. And if you look carefully underneath here, you can see specks of orange. So I think keeping in the black theme, they decided to get the uh, rattle can out. Laurie is running the brand new Shimano XDR four pots, which actually the modulation feels very smooth, very consistent, not punchy and bitey like some of the bikes I've tested here, but rather kind of a more ramping up approach with a bit of free stroke there. The blades are almost, I'd say, on the flatter side of things without being parallel to the ground. And these calipers, which are something of a work of art, are paired with some 203 Shimano rotors front and back. These bars are running at 760 mm in width, coupled with a 50 mm stem. They're 35 mm clamp, but interestingly, maybe due to the 29 inch wheel, Laurie is running it pretty much slammed. Another fitting tribute to his teammate, Brooke McDonald, who had a spinal injury in Mont Saint Anne. Kia kaha, stay strong, Brooke McDonald. An SDG fly saddle coupled with a really, really clean looking next carbon seat post by Raceface. Some Crank Brothers mallet downhill pedals with the pins wound into just a bit less than flush, coupled to some 165 mil Saint cranks. A red number board holder, which I presume to be from ODI, which complements the red of the Mondraker decals and the Fox decals pretty much to perfection, I have to say. Looks really, really tidy and everything is in keeping to a strict color scheme. A 36 tooth chain ring on the front with a LG1 chain device top and bottom from E13. Shimano Saint takes care of the shifting duties with a shifter mech and an incredibly stripped down cassette on the back. These Mavic hubs only have spacing for about seven gears and it looks like he's only got what he needs and nothing else. Now, to look at this bike, it doesn't look anything too out of the ordinary. However, close inspection reveals a trick stuff bottom bracket, which is usually used to add tension to a single speed system, but I suspect they're using it to adjust the geometry and a angle set or reach adjust headset. 
So I think there's more to it than meets the eye. We caught up with Laurie's mechanic, Mark Sterland, for all the details on how they truly modified this mullet bike. We've changed basically a stock 27 and a half bike to a 29 front. First thing we found was obviously the front axle got a lot closer to the pedals, so we needed to go up a frame size. Head angle was completely out, so we're running minus two cups. Um, but then obviously the BB is like far too high, so we had some custom bushings made for the shock to drop it down a little bit. Uh, and then that still wasn't quite enough, so I managed to find this odd little bottom bracket thing. Which... So that is how you spec and adopt a mullet bike for the rigors of Red Bull Hardline. I think it's absolutely spectacular, I'm especially a big fan of the custom paintwork. Thanks for watching, and as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.